Hi guys, um, it's a very hot Saturday off afternoon here. Um, I've just been putting up a, a container in the backyard to put some of the stuff from the garage in because I'm hoping to turn the garage more into a man cave so that I can store tobacco there and I can have it as my place to smoke um, and to hopefully restore some pipes. Carolyn keeps questioning, you know, it's not about me going out to smoke. To give you an idea what a good wife's like, she sort of says, you know, you know you can smoke in here. And I said, well, I'm a bit concerned about the dirt that I'm leaving around and the mess that I make. And she said, well, you can always back it up for me, which I thought was damn decent of her. But anyway, I want to do this review. I've never done a review before, really. And it's not on a tobacco and it's not on a pipe. But it's something that I think pipe smokers would find very helpful. Um, it's something that dates back to the old sailing ships and the days when they used to transport tobacco around the world. Um, a great sort of trade that gave them a good income. But if the tobacco was spoilt, then they lost the money on the trip. And what it is, it's a little packet and it's a hydrating stone from raw. In the old sailing ships, they used to have this um, type of clay and make and have it made into a a block that they could put in with the tobacco to keep it fresh, to keep it um, pure, and if necessary, rehydrated. And the firm raw make them into the same kind of clay from Spain into a small tablet that smokers can use to put in their jars and keep the tobacco fresh. They can use it to rehydrate any dried out tobacco and they can put it in the pouch or any way you want. And I've been trying it out because I've got a lot of jars of tobacco now and I don't want to lose out on it by it drying out and losing its flavour or whatever. And it seems very good. All you do is soak them for five minutes and drop them into the jar that you're keeping your back in. Now some of you will say, well, you know, it, it wets the tobacco, tobacco in the jar and makes it um, damp and where we want it dry for smoking. It does a little but not very much and it's just as easy to take out the tobacco for the pipe and just leave it for a few minutes to air and then to smoke. And I really sort of think they're a good thing and they're not very expensive at all. Um, just a matter of a, a few pounds, a pound or two for three of them. I don't know what they are in, in the States, but you, I can imagine you get them there. I can imagine you get them um, for a few dollars, if that. You seem fairly lucky in the States with things like tax and um, especially on your tobacco. Over here, we, we are heavily taxed. Uh, the, idea is, the idea was that it would help you give up smoking, but I think the real idea is that Smokers can pay for all sorts of things in their taxes, a bit like the petrol here. But anyway, having done that um, review, I just thought I'd bring you up to date on how things are going in the garage. I've got a lot of the heavy stuff out, but it's amazing what you find. Find things that I didn't even realise I had, like a, an electric saw that. Um, a handsaw, a jigsaw, and we found two lovely looking cases and inside I have two power drills, battery drills, with spare batteries. 
I've got a feeling they belong to a friend who came to live with us for a while. Um, but as that was 10 or 11 years ago, I don't think he's missed them yet. Um, so, Michael, if you ever see this and you are missing your drills, um, they work very well. Thank you very much. I've been thinking a bit about tobacco and different blends, and I really want to get to know what, what I want to smoke. Um, one of the ones that I've been looking at is the Dunhills. I think they're good. And Peterson, um, not Peterson, the, um, oh dear, Presbyterian Flake. No, Presbyterian blend. And some of just the ordinary blends, like um, St. Bruno and what you would call, I suppose, the drugstore blends, the everyday blends that you get from the tobacconists. I'm not a great judge of tobacco, but I think they're a reasonable everyday smoke. And whilst a lot of people will say, oh, yes, but you need a Perique or you need, you know, these different blends, I, I hope I'll get those. But, you know, the main thing is that you, you enjoy what you're smoking. I'm going to finish there, but I'll finish with a, a little story about an old couple in the late 60s. They were watching television one night, and it was on about the sex life for the over 70s, um, how to live a healthy sex life, how to have good sexual relations when you're in your 70s. And the old guy was sort of looking at this and it, it quite interested him, as it would most of us. And he turned to his wife and he said, love, what happened to our relations? And she said, well, I don't know, your brother, he hasn't been in touch for years. And as for my sister, she can go to hell as far as I'm concerned because she hasn't been here. Well, bye folks. Have a great day. Have good smokes. And I hope the sun shines on you wherever you are.